Yeah, my face is in this video. Jump scare, ain't it? Everybody in the world has someone that they can find super duper annoying. For me, it could be people that smack on their food constantly. Like they're eating a whole bunch of pussy, but we really know that they don't eat that shit for real because they don't have lives. I think we all have a select group of people that we all find annoying as hell, and that is simply pranksters. I can go into a whole essay about pranksters being stupid and making the most dumbest fucking decisions ever to be made. But in this video particularly, I really want to talk about two pranksters that caught my eye. One of them being on my 713 Risky Shorts account. Yes, I'm promoting that. Definitely go check that out. And another one that I seen off of Moist Critical's recent video. And yes, I'm going to be starting this video with the face cam like I haven't been the last six months but I guess that's not important right now what's important is the topic so back to the pranksters a nigga named Luwop LLC which is one of the most nigga names that I ever heard in existence decided to pull a prank where he goes around on his campus and decides to swing at some people and usually pranks are supposed to be hilarious like they're supposed to make you go oh <laughs> that shit made my balls tickle <laughs> but that's not the case here this nigga is literally assaulting someone for content and it's not even doing them any good you want me to smack the fuck out of a random person on campus? Bet, I got you. No way he's fucking serious about this. Hey, how you doing, bro? My name is Lua. Lua. Hey, I'm a magician, you know what I'm saying? You trying to see a magic trick real quick? Sure. Fuck it. So I got one, one hand right here, right? And I got this hand right here, you feel me? I take this hand. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you just made yourself look like the biggest pussy on this planet ever. You decided to punch on someone that was scrawnier compared to your size instead of someone that's actually beefier. Why don't you go deal with the real nigga? Out of all people on campus, you decided to pick a skinny kid. My nigga, you're not tough. You're a bitch. If anything, not only are you making your college university look terrible as f but you're making yourself look like a complete idiot and you're making black people as a whole look like stupid ass niggas. Because I guarantee you out there, there is someone that stereotyped black people and they thought to themselves, yep. This is some nigga shit right here. This this is this is pinnacle niggas. Matter of fact, this spells Compton. C O M P T O N I G G A S. Like what the fuck is you doing? Why would you even do this? Like I said before, pranks are supposed to be funny, bro. You straight up committed a crime against somebody. Do you not think how stupid that is? Like, did you not just go home and just look at yourself and realize that you're the dumbest person ever to exist? To make this thing even worse, this dude didn't even get punished for it. He has a whole video of him swinging on someone at a college campus, a public college campus. And he hasn't been put on the news. He hasn't been put in jail. He hasn't gotten arrested. None of that. I promise you, if he tried this against a real nigga or a gangster, he'd be dead. If not dead, then in the hospital. Then his friend was on the side laughing and shit like it's all a joke. There's no way, bro, he's gonna do this. Instead of recording, why didn't you stop him? You're weird. You're you're actually weird for that. That's like me telling my friend, hey, bro, I'm about to go smack this girl's ass. I don't know this girl at all, but I'm gonna get up and cop a feel i want you to record it and then you just record that shit instead of looking at me and be like bro don't do that you're gonna look like a sexual harasser yes i said harasser shut up anyways i decided to check the comments and everybody is flaming this dude like i haven't seen one supportive comment the only support that he's got on this video is just the stupid ass likes and even so it doesn't seem to be doing him that much good because he's still getting clowned about that video at the end of the day it's really just Pathetic. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even use that word. So when a nigga uses the word pathetic, that's how you know what you did was fucking pathetic. This dude doesn't even need therapy. He actually needs jail time. Like someone please arrest this dude for like a week, a month, a year, maybe 10. Okay, 10 is a stretch, but still. This is by far one of the dumbest fucking pranks I've ever seen. And it doesn't even stop there because this next one that I'm about to show is about to get really, really, really worse. So we have this other dumbass prankster that also decided that punching on someone and threatening them with a gun would be hilarious content i'm not joking this guy ran up on someone that is an elderly person and started swinging on them in the back of their head i'm not trying to defend the last guy but at least the last guy actually punched the dude in his face so it wasn't just something that was completely off guard this old dude in this video had no clue that someone's gonna smack him in the back of his head this fuck ass idiot right here decided to sucker punch an old guy you're not tough i will swing like you know what let me not even finish that sentence because i know youtube gonna take this video down or demonetize it but it's honestly so stupid so i want y'all to look at this video right quick and oh my god it might be disturbing it probably will be disturbing but if you're gonna watch this and smile and get a laugh out of it i want you to do me a favor get the fuck up out of here and don't let me catch you in person please this is the video in question first shared with khou 11 via the next door app 
In it, you can clearly see Lewis striking a man in the head from behind before he turns around in shock. Oh, but no need to fear, my niggas. This dude actually ended up getting caught and he actually went on the news for it. Now, as happy as I am that he got caught, unfortunately, that joy is gonna have to be short-lived because apparently he apologized and that apology was one of the worst fucking apologies ever. It sounded like the nigga wrote the shit down on paper and was reading that bitch like Jimmy Butler when he was looking at that one paper like, and I'm not even joking. I dead ass want y'all to listen to this apology. This shit has to be like top five worst apologies of all time. Do you regret it? Yes, yes I do. You know, I just made a mistake and everybody makes mistakes. I know like from the video, all you see is like the bad part about it. But um, what people didn't see was that I shook his hand after and how I had gave the man a hug. What? Really my nigga? Really? Your dumb ass sounds more monotone than Moist Critical. And that's not a diss to Moist Critical. Shout out to that nigga because he's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. But this dude right here, he does not have the right tone and or attitude for an apology. Dumbass number two decided to say that he learned his lesson. There wasn't a fucking lesson to learn. What are you talking about? That, this is common sense. It's common sense not to swing on someone, much less a fucking older person, much more or less when they're not even paying attention. What are you talking about? And then you threaten them with a gun. What is the lesson to be learned? To not be a fucking dumbass? What? I'm sorry. Like, a fucking baby knows this is clearly a crime and that you shouldn't do this. Mega Mind had more common sense than that nigga was raised in jail. But that's why I stand on this. I really don't fucking like pranksters at all, especially the ones in this new coming age, because it seems like everybody wants to do something stupid or assault a person just for some clout. And clout is one hell of a drug. Like clout to these pranksters is like niggas to Hellcats. They see a Hellcat, they want it. Pranksters see clout, they want the fucking clout. They'll do anything for it. A straight nigga will claim that he's the straightest guy ever, but if you told him to suck Suck your dick right now for a Hellcat. He would get on all fours. Not even just his knees, all fours and get in the throat in your shit. But yeah, I just want to talk about how fucking pathetic all these niggas are. I know I'm cussing a lot, but this shit actually has me aggravated as hell. But yeah, this video might actually get demonetized after all, but I don't really care. Because I just want y'all to think about it. Imagine you have kids one day, you think they're going to go to school, or not even go to school, but they get a job, and then you see them on social media doing some dumb shit like this. I'm not going to lie you're gonna have to get disowned but again i just want to talk about some of the pranksters right now i'm gonna be making a series about some of the most annoying types of people and i'm gonna be showing evidence of that on video so if y'all want to see more of that definitely let me know in the comments below also if you're wondering why i'm using the face cam it's because i definitely wanted to put my face out there more and i wanted people to actually know me for who i am and know what i look like instead of using pictures like i did in my previous videos but don't worry the memes will still be there and if y'all want me to keep up the same style where i'm showing my face it might actually be more helpful for my channel because i might be able to put out more videos for y'all in a shorter amount of time but yeah now i'm done with my piece for tonight so i'm gonna catch y'all niggas later now get the fuck off my screen